Okay, let's give you a live look outside at a very calm Columbia River from our Mary Hill Winery Tasting Room and Bistro Cam in Vancouver. Looks so beautiful out there. Let's check in now with Mark. It is, and uh, it's hard to believe considering how comfortable it was this afternoon that yeah. we started at 24. Were you out early this morning? Or, or no? no, I wasn't. You just you had your coffee and you looked out the window. Yeah, so it looks cold. Exactly. Maybe later. Yeah, so 24. That was the coldest of the winter. We were 25 back on New Year's wow. Day, and just uh, two nights ago, we thought we'd have uh, might have the uh, coldest of the season, and we did it. And some spots right down around 20. I see a 19. That was a record at Hillsborough, record cold temperature for the date. And Hazeldale was 20, 18 at Battleground, mostly low to mid 20s. Notice one kind of sticks out there, a Troutdale 30. That's because the when the wind is blowing, that east wind coming out of the gorge, yes, it's a chilly wind, but the air is mixed up, it's stirred up, so it doesn't get as cold as when it's clear and calm. You want for the coldest temperature, if you want it really cold. Uh, you want totally calm conditions and very dry air. All right, so a few high clouds starting to show up at the beaches already. We're going to see some of those clouds come overhead tonight. And when that happens, that'll keep us from getting quite as cold tonight. So I think we'll be more like upper 20s for most of the metro area tonight to around 30. 47, Stoller Family Estate camera. You see a few clouds starting to show up there. There's a nice close-up view from our um, Lime Valley Vineyards camera. 47 degrees down in the South Salem Hills and beautiful up on Mount Hood. We got a little bit of snow coming this weekend, and then early next week we have some rain, and then it'll go back to snow. But either way, we'll start to build the snowpack uh, once again. So that's good news there. So you see, we were warmer in the valleys, all these warm colors. Yeah, right around 50 here in the valleys, low 50s at the coastline. Uh, did it warm up a little bit in Northeast Oregon? You've been really cold? Well, not really much. Yeah, 25 in Baker City today, 35 in LeGrand. Eventually, you folks warm up by Sunday and Monday. But again, upper 20s to around 30 west of the Cascades tonight. Okay, here's the setup. So I mentioned we have the high clouds. That's from an approaching weather system. Most of the energy from this is headed to the north into British Columbia, but this is kind of opening the door for more weather systems to come through. Here comes this initial system that gives us the thin high clouds. But then by late in the day tomorrow, this part of the system is coming in. And take a look at this. Here's the forecast, and you can see tomorrow morning, thin high clouds. The rain is on the coastline, but it takes until, well, mo almost until sunset for the rain to make it over to the Cascades. So, uh, we look for afternoon showers to show up here in the valleys, more likely like after 2 p.m. So that's about three quarters of the daylight hours along the I-5 corridor here will be dry. Anytime after 2 p.m. though, chance for rain. Notice the Cascades pretty much stay dry, maybe a flurry and that's about it. Now you notice that something does change here. Once we get to Sunday morning, we've got things moving quickly from the southwest and northeast. And then here comes what we call an atmospheric river. This is a Sunday evening. The rain is starting to pick up again and watch what happens by Monday. It's all rain in the Cascades. Much warmer air has moved in. Warm southerly wind pushes our temperatures into the 50s and we have what we call a, uh, an atmospheric river or pineapple express developing. Here we go through Sunday and Monday and look at that. There's a line of uh, deep tropical moisture from Hanalei and Kauai all the way up to the Pacific Northwest. So. We, I think this model's overdoing it. It thinks there could be up to five inches in the next five days, but I think two to three inches is definitely going to happen. I think the five is too high. All right, so increasing clouds as we go through the daytime tomorrow. It'll be a little cooler tomorrow with the cloud cover, 45, breezy east wind. It switches to a warmer southerly wind suddenly tomorrow night. So Sunday we wake up and maybe already, you know, around 50 Sunday morning. And we stay in the 50s for most of the time from Sunday through Tuesday, much warmer. And then uh, we still stay in the lower 50s, we think, for highs Wednesday, Thursday, Friday next week. Nor you got the first four days of March, and that looks like March weather that you remember growing up, right?